What does Barbados look like? To answer that question, I wanted to present an ongoing series where I record the view from a bus, which is a very common form of transportation here. My initial plan was to record binaural audio and let the view speak for itself, but as it turned out, the binaural audio I recorded wasn't too interesting, so instead I'll be providing some narration here and there to help explain what you will be seeing. I've also edited the footage, taking out the less visually interesting moments where all you can see are walls or fences and such. For this video, I start right outside the Massey grocery store in Whole Town. This bus is scheduled to go down to the southern end of the island, which will pass my destination, the St. Lawrence Gap. As you can see on the map, there's a weird detour the buses have to take almost right away as a portion of the main road is currently under construction. The first part of the detour cuts through a very wealthy part of the island. The western coast of Barbados is often called the Platinum Coast because of the high amount of ultra-expensive properties that are found sprinkled along the coastline. I don't know for sure, but to me, any property that is gated and walled and has trees, bushes, and other foliage covering the view of the property is likely a very nice home. When we reach the coastline after finishing the detour, the beachside view is dominated by three things. Rental properties, such as resorts, condos, and hotels, public beaches, and lastly, construction of more rental properties. Barbados has an unusually high percentage of its total GDP coming from tourism, and the never-ending array of rental properties along the beach proves that. In this stretch, it's easy to forget how close the road is to the water until a break between the buildings hits you.
It's not entirely obvious where the Bridgetown city limits officially start, but I would guess it's somewhere near the point where the bus turns onto the Black Rock Road and starts taking a more angled direction away from the coastline and away from the near approaching Bridgetown downtown area. Bridgetown's roads aren't designed to handle a ton of traffic, so it can get congested pretty quickly. The buses are smart to bypass the capital city's downtown area. Once on Black Rock Road, the view changes almost instantly. Houses are smaller and built in very close proximity to each other. There are almost no front yards anywhere. Front doors are often within five feet of the edge of the road. What stands out most to me in this area are the houses that are painted bright colors in a variety of hues, all immaculately kept. It's like you're getting a glimpse into the personality of each owner. Even some of the businesses take part in this colorful tradition. I will complete my bus ride to the St. Lawrence Gap in a future video, but for now, thanks for tuning in.